Okay, so let's make this flume-ish kind of pad or plug sound here. Um, we're starting from scratch. And we're starting with our first oscillator here. We are using eight voices and we're putting up the detuning a lot. Also take off retrigger. Adjust the attack a little bit up, the decay a little bit up as well. Sustain down. And release up a little. Let's bring the attack down a little. 1.2, 2, 7, 2. And now we also use oscillator A2, three voices, and we use square wave or pulse wave. Okay, that one is too loud. I'm taking the volume down. And also detune it, 11 o'clock. Okay, and we are using a filter, a low pass filter on this signal. A bit more drive. Keep it in the middle for now. Now go to part B and select oscillator B1, another square wave or pulse wave. Voices up to four. Okay, and bring it down uh, quite substantially. And set it into retrigger mode. And detune it heavily, one o'clock. And bring our polyphony up to eight. We're playing, uh, playing these notes here. Go to part A and copy the amplitude envelope, copy and paste it here. So we're following the same 80s R shape. Oscillator B2 plays white noise. Take it down all the way. Noise always very loud, so we're just slightly mixing it in and put in two voices. Okay, and filter B, also low pass. Drive up a little bit. Bring the main volume down to four. Okay, let's put in a couple of effects here. Chorus. Drive it down a little. And width down a little bit as well. It's not too broad. Going to the EQ and um, bring down the bass a little bit. 
but take it below 80. And also adjust the treble a little bit, like to 3 decibels and frequency around 3k. So it's not too harsh when we open up the cutoff here. So I open up the cutoff. Actually can down a little more. Okay, delay. Smear up to halfway up and drive it down a lot. Just slightly. Okay, that's it. Give it a bit of depth, but that's all we are doing. Go to reverb and play it. Okay, um, size down to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, dampening up to 3 o'clock. Yeah, that's good. Width down, width down to 11. And pre delay shorter. I wanted to start quite immediately after we are playing this um, sound and drive it down to somewhere here. Okay, um, let's go to the modulators down here and start with an LFO. And you have so many possibilities here. We are going to, what we are going to do is we are adding in a bit of vibrato feeling. So pick up cut of A and B. So both filters, A and filter B here. Set the rate up to something that vibrates nicely. So maybe 32. Put it in. Uh, gain up. Let's play something that's holding. Pitch up. Take down the offset. Actually take it negatively here. Nice, so we take down the filter control here. We are not opening it up too much now. We are keeping it in the middle and now play around with this LFO. Sort of those power pads in the background. Maybe we still need to adjust a little on the attack here. We'll take a look at it in a minute. So um, modulate mix A and B. So we are modulating this uh, output. Well, it's an option. Let's quickly take the first modulation envelope here. So this one and put it onto the cutoff. Cut of A and B and well now it just opens up the filters because the sustain is up and all the delay times here delaying the start of the shape are down and the release times as well. If you're playing around with this and you're giving it quite a bit of detuning and you play around with the modulators here, you're getting this tennis court kind of feel to it. Uh, so the one from Flume's Tennis Court Remix. 
Let's play around with that a little. Also sounding interesting if we are holding it now. Pitch up. Okay, so this is a pretty nice sound already. You can tweak it a lot further if you want it more to be this uh, pad sound uh, in the background. Put the reverb up a little and keep the filters a little more down. And if you want it more in the foreground, you can put this LFO a little more in, bring down the dry wet here and play the filters a bit more open. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Check the description for presets and templates and even complete online courses. Subscribe to our channel. Visit us on productionmusiclive.com which is supporting this YouTube channel and I hope to see you next time. Have you ever had the feeling to be working with a synth without actually knowing what you're doing and how to achieve the exact sound you're looking for? In this course, we are going to learn how to use Silent One for sound design. We will learn how to create our own bass sounds, pads, plucks, leads and effects. And we will learn how to use it for advanced and state-of-the-art sound designs to achieve professionally sounding results. So let's get started.